Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Crad, and welcome to Cataracts and Coffee, where we answer your questions that you submit on the YouTube channel regarding cataract, lens, and laser. First question by Dash Dash. Thanks for the possibility of interacting. If I had to choose now, I'd pick LAL because less than 50 years old with myopia greater than 10, and in case of future retinal detachment, panoptics will be a limit. Any unfortunate damage should happen to the macula. But that's true. If you have a multifocal lens implant and you have damage to your macula, it's not a good combination, generally speaking. The question is about LEL. Is it realistically possible to have 20-20 each eye with nice computer distance with LEL if a patient accepts readers? It's certainly possible. I've had many patients who we targeted far into the distance with LEL and they have surprisingly good computer vision without glasses. That being said, I don't tell my patients to expect that unless we did like a mini monovision where their non-dominant eye had maybe a minus half a point. But uh, I would say that it is certainly possible, but the LAL is not a multifocal lens. It's not a extended depth of focus lens. It's not an accommodating lens. So you have to be ready to use glasses, whether it's for reading uh, up close or a computer, but ho hopefully you're one of the fortunate bunch that you don't need to use it for the computer. If using the computer was extremely important to you without glasses, then I would say in your non-dominant eye, you may want to target like minus a half a point. How much power can LAL reach before various optimization sessions? It can correct just about every prescription, uh, not all, but I would say 99.9%. Uh, you say you're a myope with uh, greater than minus 10. I've had a patient uh, not too long ago, uh, it was a patient who was a cardiologist, and they were, I think it was around minus 22. I'll look it up and I'll let you know, but I'm pretty sure it was around a minus two, and we were able to get rid of all of it. The light adjustment sessions after the implant can only adjust you about two diopters, uh, up or down. So myopia or hyperopia, about two diopters, and astigmatism, uh, about two diopters, uh, it can reduce. And for the third part of the question, um, the most importantly, LAL are fine-tuned, but will patients be able to keep that refraction lifelong? The short answer is I don't know. Uh, the light adjustable lens has not been out for 20 years or 30 years, uh, so I cannot say lifelong with 100% certainty. But from the data that we do have, let's say the data over the last few years, there has been very high stability in the refraction. If the lens implant was going to be unstable, it would show early because the lens implant has this photoreactive silicone uh, molecules that can get used up. And so if it's not changing in the first few years, I don't expect there to be any adjustable polymers left in the lens implant that could change, say, 10 years later. So I hope so, but I don't know with 100% certainty. And then you say, for future videos, I'd like to hear about the most promising, recent, truly accommodative lenses. I heard only about Juvene, how enrollments work. Thank you very much. You're in Europe. Um, you're interested in Juvene in particular because of the safety profile, the no spin attributes, um, and of course no PCO is a plus. Well, I want to start out by saying Juvene has not been released yet. So we really don't know any of that. We cannot say any of these things. We can't make any of these claims yet. Um, we need a lot more data to be able to say to make any of these claims with the Juvene lens. Um, I didn't talk about it in detail uh, yet because it's not approved and because I don't have experience with it. Recently, I had a patient that had a lens implant that you may not have heard of. It's also an accommodating lens, and it's called the Visiogen Synchrony Lens. This was a lens implant being studied years ago, and there was so much hype around it that it was going to accommodate like the natural human lens, and they were doing studies, and there was so much promise with it. Abbott bought it for hundreds of millions of dollars. A lot of patients got it implanted and poof, never came to market, never available. I don't know why. I was interested in asking actually some of the surgeons that maybe that participated in the studies if they have any insight. But for whatever reason, it didn't come on the market. And so we don't know, will Juvene come on the market? I don't know. But uh, there is a surgeon up in uh, at UCLA, Uday Devgin. Uh, he knows a lot about the Juvene lens, so I would go to his channel. He's a cataract coach, and uh, ask him those questions about the Juvene. 
So uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions relating to eye surgery, cataract surgery, lens implant, laser, uh, ask them in the comments and I will hopefully get to them next time. Thank you so much for your attention. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.